It's been a tough year to work in hospitality. This is a business that we want to continue, and any violations we may have may threaten that. That's why Rick Carmer, owner of Wallaby's Bar and Grill in Ames, may be reminding you to follow health safety guidelines so the county doesn't have added business closures. Well, it's a slippery slope right now. You have to be careful, but our success rate, we feel we've been doing this ever since they allowed us to open. Our success rate, I think, has been very, very good. If you do come out to Wallabies, you'll notice increased cleaning protocols and you'll be seated a safe distance from other people. These high back booths allow tables to be seated less than six feet apart. That's because they create a natural barrier, something that a booth that's an average height doesn't do. Down the road, Della Vitti, a wine bar on Main Street, is also preparing for game day customers. Normally, people do come for a pre-dinner cocktail or after dinner. Owner Beth DeVries has gotten creative during the pandemic to keep money flowing into her business. I did start doing some virtual tastings as well to keep my customer base interested. But like many in hospitality, it's been tough to stay afloat. DeVries has had to lay off her entire staff, and the additional Story County closures have made things even harder. That's why DeVries is asking customers to follow the mask rules at bars and restaurants. We get pushback, and it's not, it, it's not us. I mean, we are just... We all want this to be over. Just abide by the rules. It'll be over faster. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.